Hey, what's going on guys? So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is switching out these front panels where the fog lights go, and we're gonna switch it over from this, and we're gonna take it over to these aftermarket ones. I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step process on how to do this, so you guys can do this to your 10th gen Honda Civic as well. So the first thing we're gonna start with is popping the hood and jacking up the car. Make sure your e-brakes on and put the jack stands at the sides of the car where it's supposed to be to hold the weight of the vehicle. And then we can start taking off the panels. So to get these fog light panels off, we're gonna have to detach the entire bumper. So I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step on how to detach the bumper. Alrighty, so to de detach this, we're just gonna use our flathead screwdrivers and we're just gonna go underneath the little lips and pop them out of place and this whole top panel will come off. Alrighty, so next step, we're gonna be removing this rubber piece here. And it's just gonna be the same clips. We're gonna use our flathead to pop all the little clips out and then this piece will come right off. Alrighty, so the next step is to detach both of these Phillips heads. So we're just gonna go ahead and unscrew those now. Alrighty, there's gonna be a little clip right here that we gotta push in to pull the bumper out on this side. So what I'd recommend is to use a flathead with a little towel and just jam it in there to where we can get that clip loose. So to detach everything on the bottom, you're going to see some 10 millimeter bolts and you're also going to see those same clips from the top side that we're going to have to detach. Keep in mind these are plastic, so they're very brittle, especially the ones on the bottom, so if they break, just make sure you got a set handy. I'll link everything in the description that I'm going to be using in the video. And you also see some Allen key uh, bolts as well that need to be detached. There's going to be two 10 millimeters and two Allen keys and the rest of those plastic clips. All right, now that everything's detached on the bottom, we can go ahead and take off this front little guard here. So there's little gaps and you can take your flathead and you can push it in and you'll see a little plastic clip. You're gonna push that down and this will come out. So let's do that now. And we're just gonna do the same thing on this side as well. Alrighty, now everything is detached and we're good to go ahead and pull off the bumper. Alrighty, so we're good to go ahead and detach this uh, panel. So you're gonna see there's gonna be some Phillips heads and there's gonna be some clips to push in. it will pop right out. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alrighty guys, so I laid out the aftermarket lights. So you can see here where you can put the fog light in and you can cut out this little piece and you can put the fog light. So in today's video, we're not gonna be focusing on the fog light. We're just gonna be focusing on installing this piece alone, but we need to understand how it works. So essentially you have your clips here that plug in, that give it power, as well as this goes to your turn signal. So these will be sequential to your turn signal if you hook it up right. So this will go to the positive on the turn signal and it's like that for both. And then you're gonna have one really long cord. So this will go on either the passenger side or the driver's side, depending on how you wire it. And I'll show you how to do it. I just want to uh, have a thorough understanding of how it works. So you have the two cords. So for one light on the right side and then one on the left. And this middle one here is the red and black. This is actually the main power. So. If we want to install it into the DRL's lights, these will be on when the DRL's are on during the day as well as the night. Or you can hook it up to your um, your normal high beams, or not your high beams, but your uh, normal uh, lights when you turn on at night. And then you can hook them up that way to where they only turn on when you have your headlights on. So depending on how you want to do it, you can uh, decipher it that way uh, to see if you want them on all the time or if you want them on only when the headlights are on at night. Alrighty guys, so I got one side installed so far and um, I just wanted to do it first on my own to see how difficult it was. It's a little bit meticulous and the biggest issue I saw was the fact of um, this bar here. So this aftermarket piece it has a little screw and a uh, thing that kind of protrudes out, preventing you from laying it flush, which is a real pain. 
So what I had to do is I shaved out a piece here so this has enough room to lay flat. So I'll show you guys how to do it on this other side over here, but yeah, it was a bit of a pain. Uh, but once you get it all popped in place, it fits pretty good. There's a slight little gap on the bottom that I noticed. I'm not a huge fan of, but it's very small to where you can barely see it. But let's go ahead and jump over to the other side and I'll show you how to screw, uh, throw this out to make sure it sits nice and flush. Alrighty, now that we have our lights installed onto the bumper, we can work on wiring everything up. So what we're gonna have to do is detach the headlight to get to the wires to where we can wire everything up. So there's two 10 millimeter bolts, one here and one over here. Let's go ahead and detach those. Alrighty, now that we got all those bolts detached, we can go ahead and pull the headlight assembly out. We can go ahead and start unplugging the electrical. Perfect. So what we want to be looking for is the DRL, which is this one, and this is a turn signal here. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and work on wiring everything up. So we're going to go ahead and take our main power here. We're going to set that out of the way for now. We'll get all the wires prepped. Then we have our smaller side on this side, and then we have the other longer cord going that way. So I'll, I'll show you how we're going to route it, but let's go ahead and get these wires prepped. So we can go ahead and splice everything in. So we have a turn signal here. So what we're going to do is remove the existing electrical tape. So we can expose the wires. So these are nice prepped. So now we have to strip the existing uh, wire casing off. We're going to be using the white wire and the black wire. White is positive, black is negative. For our turn signal, we're gonna be just using the white as that is the positive and that's where the yellow wire is gonna connect. So let's go ahead and strip these wires. All right guys, so here are the wires. Let's go ahead and get these stripped. So now we're gonna go ahead and wrap these. Yellow goes to the turn signal. Gonna wrap it nice and tight. That one's good to go. We'll work on the positive and negative for the main power. So black goes to black. That one's good. And the positive to the positive. All right. We're good to wrap with some electrical tape. And after that, your wires should look something like this nice and tight and wrapped up. Alrighty, now that we finished up the wiring process, we can go ahead and plug our light back in and get it back into position so we know where to put everything. So we know that we're gonna need this off to the side because this has to connect to the bottom uh, bumper area. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this back, make sure the wires are out of the way. Go ahead and start plugging everything back in, so. This one's your turn signal and this one is your DRL. Keep that in mind when you plug them in. DRL has a three wires. Uh, the turn signal only has a two wires. So DRL is on the bottom. All right, now that's back in place, we can go ahead and screw it in. All right, so after I wired them, I just uh, popped the light back in place and I just ran these wires down here. You gotta keep in mind that we're gonna have to wire this to the reflector or that um, front fog light area. So we need it 
right down in this range here. So go ahead and pop this light back in place where we can move forward with the rest of the stuff. Those are all back in place. We got our wires hooked up. So before we put on the bumper, we have to uh, get this one wired up as well. So this is a longer side, so we're gonna run this across and down to the passenger side because we gotta get the passenger reflector or um, passenger return signal wired up as well. So let's move to that side. So we have all this wire right in here. So we need to run this crossed over to this light. So the best, most efficient way is to run it right through here. We're good. So we're gonna pull that through. Keep in mind, we'll need this hanging low as well so we can hook it up to the bumper. And then we need this wire into the turn signal. So let's go ahead and detach the passenger headlight. Alrighty, so to detach this one, we got our 10 millimeter here, 10 millimeter here, 10 millimeter on the side, one more 10 millimeter there, and then we'll need our extension to get into the one that's directly under here. So let's go ahead and get these detached. like that we're good keep in mind you're gonna need a little bit of prying on these little clips at the top because for some reason they kind of snap in place a bit then once you get loose we can go ahead and pull her out so you'll see here that they got the little clips anchored in we just got to push them on the top and they'll come out we, when we get everything wired up we can put these back in place where they're wired back in. We just need to pull those off to where we can get the access that we need. So go ahead and don't forget to grab this bolt that the extension helped to take off. All right, so now we need the turn signal. So the turn signal is gonna be this top one here. So just press it down and pull it out. So we're gonna press it down and it pulls right out, perfect. So we got this. So we can kind of just maybe set the light down and then I can just work on it this way. We're gonna do the same thing as we did on the driver's side. Alright guys, so as you see here, I went ahead and I just plugged everything in. You can see right here I plugged that one in for the passenger and then down here you can see that I plugged it in on the uh, driver's side as well. So we're doing this because we're going to test the lights before we put the bumper on. Uh, just to make sure that everything's working as it should uh, before we put everything on and then uh, say we find a problem. Of course we'd have to detach everything all over again and that's just a huge pain in the butt. So let's test them, see what they look like. So right here I'm just using some zip ties and I'm tying down the wires so they're not hanging around everywhere. So just I'm um, using the body frame right here. I'm just zip tying all the wires, make sure everything's pretty snugged up. Once all the wires are secured, we can go ahead and pop the bumper back on. It would be the same exact process, just in reverse. I'll do it very quick. Everything's sped up, so you'll just see me popping everything back on. If you just want to use those same clips you took off, put them back on, and then push everything back in place. Alrighty guys, so here is the final product. I'm very satisfied with the lights. Only two complaints that I have is that there's a slight gap at the bottom. But not a huge problem because you have to be right up next to it to see it but 
You can't really see it at all even then because it's a very small gap and then there is a slight delay when using the uh, blinker. But not a huge ordeal. Um, I would say overall they look great, they're very bright and they enhance the vehicle's look by a lot. Um, it only took me roughly an hour and a half to install these onto the bumper. Uh, so overall, I'm very satisfied with the product. It looks great. I purchased it from Amazon. Of course, I'll link everything used in the video in the description below so you guys can check everything out. And I hope, hopefully this helps you guys with, you know, enhancing the look of your Civic as well as uh, watching the video when it comes to wiring, things of that nature. Hopefully that you, uh, you can find a little bit of value from this. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, you know, feel free to smash that like button or if it helped you out, you know, and you want to follow this journey. Feel free to subscribe because I'm going to be doing some more uh, upgrades to this base model Civic to make it look as luxury as possible. Thank you guys.